Hello, Father. Oh, hi, sweetie. What are you doing here? We need to talk. Well, honey, I'm very busy. Can it wait? No. Is it urgent? Yes, it is. Oh, all right. Just better rack that for me, will you, please? What is it? We have to leave Bay City. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Dad, I can't train here. The ballet classes are for little girls in tutus. There isn't a decent studio in town. <laughs> Honey, is this what is so urgent? I don't think it's very funny, Father. Well, I told you I'd be happy to pay for classes in Chicago. There are plenty of fun, wonderful studios there. I don't like it here. But you haven't even it. given it a chance. I don't want to drive to Chicago every day. Look, I, I, I'm certain there must be more to life than dance. I knew you'd say that. Well, honey, have you even tried to meet people your own age? Here we go again. Yeah. Well, what about Matt Corey? I mean, he's a very nice boy. Exactly. He's a boy. Oh. Oh, I see. I didn't realize that you were so advanced. I don't care about catching rays and partying mm -hmm. all night. You know, anybody would think you'd be pleased. Oh, yes, I would be if you hadn't spent so much of your time pursuing culture with a man twice your age. That's not fair. But it is the truth. He was my teacher. Yes, and I'll bet I know what his best subject was. He believed in me. He was married, Olivia. Nothing ever happened. You didn't have to pack me off to Siberia. Oh, come on, this is not Siberia. This is Bay City. I know. Your boyhood home. Yeah, my boyhood home, and there are a lot of good opportunities here for you, too. You want me to give up dancing, don't you? Oh, honey, come on, have I ever said that? You know how important this is to me? It's my life. Yes, and that's exactly what worries me about it. I don't, I don't believe this. Sweetheart, I am your father. I see you closing out the whole world so you can dance, and I don't think that's healthy. I can take care of myself. All right, all right. Look, this, is, this is not the time or the place to get into this. I think it is. I don't like your attitude, young lady. Well, you don't like anything about me. That is not true. Hi, Russ. Dad? Not now, Olivia. Is everything okay? Yeah, yes, we're, we're all right. The funeral home called they needed some information for the headset. Oh, I'll call them. No, 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 it's okay. I took care of it. Honey, I could have done that. No, why should you? I have to go upstairs and take care of a few things. He feels like he has to take care of everything. He's just trying to make things easier for you, Mom. We all are. Thanks for staying here last night. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about that. What? I think when Sam comes back from New York, that he, I, and Allie should all move in with you. No. Why not? Because you have your own family. I wouldn't allow that. Well, I'm at least think about it for I a don't minute. have to think about it. Sam could use the studio. Allie loves it here. And I want to be here for you. It's not like you don't have the room, you know. Well, she's got to talk to Sam about it. Come on, at least let us do something oh, for you. Honey, I'm not used to this. I'm used to taking care of you guys. Is it a deal? No, let me think about it, okay? And you talk to Sam about it. All right. Thank you, anyway. I wish Matthew would talk to me. Well, how can he talk to anybody? He's so busy doing everything. That's what worries me.
maybe it's time for an old Cubs fan like me to give in. You may be right about the Sox after all. See you at the game Sunday afternoon, don't be late. Love, Mac. It's open. Oh, Josie, what's up? Hi, Reuben. So what brings you here? Just haven't seen you lately at the boarding house. Yeah, I know. I've been busy. <laughs> so what about you? Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah? How's Matt? Mr. Corey's death hit him really hard. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, um, I saw us at the boarding house and it said urgent, so I thought I'd bring it to you. Oh, thanks. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um, you were saying about Matt. Do, do you have a minute? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, sit down. <sighs> I'm so confused, Reuben. What about Matt? Well, I've been spending a lot of time with him lately. Well, that's good, isn't it? No, I, I don't know if that's good. I don't know if it's good at all. Hold it. What? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Are you going to ask me for advice about your love life? You said we could talk. Yeah, I know, but I just don't know about stuff like that. I mean, I know about stuff like that. It's just that a girl never asked me about stuff. I don't want to hurt him any more than I already have. It's just that there's so many things in the way. I, I don't know if it can work. You know, you think too much. I feel too much, too. So what are you saying? I've just forgotten how much I love being with him. Josie. He kissed me yesterday, Reuben. Yeah? And uh, I wanted him. Are you sure that you want to tell me about all what this? What do I do? And what if I can't go through with it? Josie. What is it that you have to go through? You know. I see. No more questions. I'm, I'm, I'm finished for the day. Just stop talking to me, all right? Oh, great. You know, you're always telling me what to do. And the first time I ask for your advice, you won't give it to me. Well, why don't you read one of these magazines? They got advice like that. Look, look. They got these quizzes in them. I don't want to take a quiz. Can you take the quiz, please? Look, it's, it's got this stuff. Look. It's called Learn How to Rate Your Mate. It, it's ten questions about how to... You know, find the perfect mate. Ruben. Will you please take it? Now, come on. Question number one. My boyfriend is getting too forward. That means that he's I trying... know what it means. All right. Do I A, tell him to get lost, B, tell him it's too soon, C, tell him about my ex-boyfriend and why we broke up, or D, do whatever he asks? Well... What are you doing? Someone has to put his things away. I think Mom should do that, don't you? No. She's enough to worry about. It'll be easier for everyone this way. Matt, look, you've done so much already. I really think maybe this should wait. No. You're not ready. Really, just let it go. Amanda, Mom doesn't need to do this. It'll be easier this way. I guess I'll never know the story behind this. Mac always sent you a present when he was away on a business trip. Why should this one be different? What was he doing? When? What was he thinking about when he sent me this? His note said that he couldn't wait to tell me about this. What was he doing? Why are you reading too much into Am this? Am I? What does it mean? It means that one day he was out shopping and a few days later, he was gone. 
I never collect stuff like this. Rachel, you have to let go. Why? You can't go on like this. I can't let go. If I let go, I'll lose him. You'll never lose him. He's in your heartbeat. But you have to accept the fact that he's gone. I don't have to do anything. Honey, you're angry, and you have a right to be angry. You and Mac had a lot of years left together. Oh, I wish I could take the pain away. I'm going to Maine. You what? I want to be there. I want to be where he was when he died. I'm going with you. No, him. you're not. Oh, yes, I am, and I don't want any argument about it. You want to go to Maine? Fine, but I'm going with you. I'll go make the arrangements right now.